You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we receive, we, we receive from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, visit our website, quranspeaks.com. Okay, Brother Shabir, here's a question about um, Jesus returning at the end of the time. The person is asking, why is it the, the, the Prophet Jesus is returning, uh, first of all, and why isn't it the Prophet Muhammad who's returning? Hmm. So this is an interesting question. Based on the Muslim belief that, that Jesus will return at the end of times, um, so, so why Jesus and not the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Well, uh, if well, we're why Jesus in the first place? Too? Yes. Uh, so, if we were to justify that belief, we would say that, uh, for one thing, the Quran uh, says that Jesus uh, speaks to people in his uh, cradle and also in his manhood. Now, the the terminology for manhood uh, in in the Quran uh, may indicate something that is uh, uh, about forty years old at least. We know that many of the prophets received their revelation when they were about 40 years old, so specifically in the case of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now the Gospel is report that Jesus on whom be peace was about 30 years old when he began preaching and then uh, about three years later he was crucified, so that would be about 33 years old. And that would mean that he didn't live till 40. So in, in the Muslim tradition he returns, he, he dwells on earth for seven years and so he becomes 40. And uh, that will fulfill the, the prophecy in the Quran that he will speak to people uh, in his cradle and also in his manhood, which would be in like something like 40. Um, th that seems to be one justification or explanation for this salient uh, belief. Uh, the, uh, another um, explanation is that and Jesus is one of the most uh, controversial and misunderstood figures in all of history. Uh, there have been many prophets and messengers of God, uh, and uh, we believe Jesus, on whom be peace, was a prophet and a messenger of God, and that other people took him to be God despite his own teachings. Now, uh, at the same time, there are some people who rejected him altogether. So here we have like two extremes. On the one hand, some rejecting him altogether. On the other hand, some others defying him. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Muslims, we believe, have the balanced view between the two extremes. Well, well we, we can keep telling people about this balanced view, but some people will not believe us. But the idea is that when Jesus himself returns, that will settle all of the questions, so that those who previously rejected him will see the man and now believe in him. Those who previously deified him, will see him now arriving in this context, coming and becoming, being a part of the Muslim community and praying along with them, praying to the God that he always prayed to. Uh, they will now um, have no questions remaining. They will realize that Jesus is a man, a human being, a prophet of God, uh, who has been erroneously made into a God by the thinking of others. Mm -hmm. So why not the Prophet Muhammad then? Well, we would say that there is no need for the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to return, as uh, there has been no need for any of the uh, umpteen prophets. We believe there's, uh, there have been some 124,000 prophets in all of history. Uh, the Quran says to every nation we have sent uh, prophets and messengers, uh, but uh, they will not all return. Um, only the uh, Jesus is specifically singled out in this regard in Muslim and Christian belief as the one who will return towards the end of time. Some people thought that John the Baptist also will return. Some thought that Elijah uh, will uh, return. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Dr. Shabir Ali. You're welcome. That's all the time we have. Don't forget to visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com, and check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash QuranSpeaks. Please write and email us. We welcome your comments and questions. I'm Sophia Ali. For all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.